Jackie Luster is with Mini Okagram. Today we're joined by Eranga Mendes. Eranga, you're going to give us a leg spin bowling masterclass. You applied your trade in Sri Lanka's first class system as a leg spinner initially before injury curtailed. When it comes to leg spin bowling, the important about you know the run ups. And some like to walk and bowl, um, and some like to run and bowl, and some do a bit of boards. Uh, so that's absolutely fine as long as it works for you. And um, in terms of you know the starting point, you know, some like to actually go a bit more straight to the stumps, and some like to actually run a bit more angle to the stumps, and some like to run a bit more, bit more angle, step angle to the stumps. So either way is absolutely fine. Because so the first thing for my uh, when we do using the crease, to make sure you've got to alter your angle that you're coming from. Uh, so you've got to uh, change because otherwise it's probably going to mess up you know, the, your rhythm. So if I'm going to go a bit more close to the stumps, and just closer to the, you know, the crease, uh, I'm going to go here, just going to ball like that. And if I come closer to the stumps, I go back to the stumps and ball there and complete it like that. So once you push, you land your back foot, let the front fit. So hopefully we need to have your hips and shoulders aligned to the target. Hopefully you'll be landing the ball um, if you get that in the best alignment and that's where the ball is going to go to. So then you're just trying to drive that in the front arm out to the target and put it down with your, uh, your head and hopefully that will help you to get you know, the, the bowling arm across your body, back past your left knee. Um, and get into the drifting catch positions after all. Right, start with the grip for the leg spinner. The mind's a bit more, two fingers up, two fingers down. Um, let's lock the balls in there. But make sure the key things for me, and this is my spinning finger. This is what I'm putting the part spin. So you can see clearly uh, my ring finger underneath the seam. The more you get under the seam, the more you know, the able to rip in the ball. So I got a bit more relaxed. Um, you can see a bit more fluffy. Uh, but equally uh, a little bit more loose as well. Again, the leg spin is a combination of the wrist and the fingers. Uh, so just make sure uh, you can use, keep your thumb on the ball, and off, the, off the ball or on the seam, off the seam. So it's part you know, the individual preference. Um, when you release the ball, uh, make sure that the back of the hand is pointed towards you or palm pointed to the batsman. Googly. So the grip, same for the leg spinner. Two fingers up, two fingers down, thumb on and off. Um, all the different is, the, you know, the ball comes out the back of the hand just like that. So the idea of the ball trying to come up, you know, the your, fin uh, your pinky finger or a bit more, or your ring finger around your wrist just like that. Okay. So you have to. Get your back of the hands towards the you know, this quarter leg or the mid wicket if you want to go a bit more round a little bit more there, just like that. So the other variation of the googly, the modern dive, is just trying to ball a bit more quicker, uh, but doesn't spin the ball. So this one's we use the you know the fingers more than a, a wrist. So you slot the ball between these three fingers, and when you release the ball. Just you know, the, you're trying to twist it, your fingers, and trying to get your ball up above the, you know the, the middle finger, just like that. But you won't actually be able to, you know, the get a bit more spin, but might enough to get LBWs, and this ball particularly a bit more quicker. You can ball it through. Okay, still a bit more back of the hands, but you're not using the fingers more than a, more than a wrist, in this case. The next up, the top spinner. Grip the same, um, two fingers up, two fingers down, thumb on and off. Uh, the idea of the top spinner, trying to get that the seam running down the wicket if you ball with the seam upright. But if you ball with the scramble seam, you're trying to do the same thing. But the idea is to try to get your fingers up over the ball, just in that motion, like that. If you seam upright, just like that. So you can see the seam rotate it down the wicket and hopefully you'll be able to get a top edges or the LBW, it depends on the wicket that you ball on. The slider, uh, it's it's one of the ball that you know the often the surprises the batsman. It looks like a leg break, but it doesn't spin, but it skits on. Uh, so the 
the grip will be the same two fingers up two fingers down thumb and on and off uh, when you release the ball you release a bit more front of the hand just like that and that some versions you actually release a bit more it's a back spinner it's a bit more inside out like that uh, so the best way to think about it if you're releasing the front of the hand you release it up there at the front of the hand just like that and the camera you can see that in the white right side of the ball but if you're looking to release it a little bit more inside like a back spinner that you can just release it a bit more kind of almost like a fist is out of the back you know the the side of the hand and you can see the ball side the color of the ball either ball absolutely fine so whatever works for you you can give it a try the flipper i go with one of the best balls you can um ball uh would be some need a bit more skill to do that i probably wouldn't recommend to anyone who is actually mastering you know the uh, stock delivery and then the googly and then probably you know the top spinner and the slide the last thing for you to master is the flipper uh, so it's slightly different mechanism uh, you can see uh, index and the middle finger on the top of the ball and my thumb underneath the ball the idea is you're trying to what the screen of the what we used to say a bit flip the fingers and you're trying to actually get the ball under the hand just like that by just you know clicking the fingers just like that so hopefully it create a bit more back spinner just skips off the surface to get a little bit of for the ball so when you come to the strategy and field placement the number of things are determined number one you as a spin bowler and what your skill set number two the type of wicket that you're bowling at and number three the type of back spin you're bowling at number four will be the situation you come to bowl and number five with the weather conditions so you need to consider all these things to you know to make the best you know the uh, field intuitions and you know to get the batsman out often in one day cricket and t20 cricket and in white ball cricket in particular that you know the you need to attack the stumps in order to get it out sometimes you have to bowl a bit more defensively sometimes you have to bowl out to the you know the batsman hand um, so the, the various things you can do in some cases you can bowl a bit more straight to the stems you can bowl a bit more across the stems and you can bowl under the stems and you can try your variations but if you're a red ball creator, a bit more time you can place you know put you know field placements and open the gaps for batsmen to hit but you still be able to track in the batsman to your strategy so again you need to know but you know the strategy looks very clearly what lines you're going to bowl what you know the pace you're going to bowl and where you're looking to bowl and what's your plan A, B and C. So important things, for important message for you is to make sure you have to have a plan in order to bowl. Never have a bowl with an empty mind.